Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop. And today I am back with another random review, which means I take a movie randomly and I review it. <laughs> uh, this time we're going to take a look at the 2001 sci-fi fantasy adventure that people either oh they like it or they hate it let's see what i thought about this movie shall we this is the first time i've ever seen this movie so uh yeah first thoughts definitely hey, ladies and gentlemen here's my review of ai artificial intelligence In the future, the ice caps have melted and cities have drowned, leaving many citizens displaced. Robots have become essential to life, and one of the bigwigs of the robot industry comes up with an idea to create the first robot who can love... Brown chicka wow wow. Oh no, not that kind of robot. Show emotion and dream. A robot child. A family whose son is in, in quote unquote suspended animation bring the robot home so they can still have a child around the house. After some miscommunications, the father wants the boy robot gone and forces his wife to take him back to the company. Knowing he'd be destroyed, his mother tells the robot to run for his life. After this, the robot goes on an, an adventure to find the blue fairy character from Pinocchio to make him a real boy so he can go home. All true story. <laughs> so what did I think of AI, artificial intelligence? I thought it's a fine sci-fi drama. This is certainly a film that is an acquired taste that not everyone will enjoy, but I did. It was the vision of late director Stanley Kubrick who wanted to make the film for years but never got the chance. Director Steven Spielberg took the project on and tried to do his friend's work justice. The visuals and special effects are stunning and do a nice job showing the futuristic world. As the movie goes on, it gets a little more fairy tale adventure feel to it, much like a blend of stories like Pinocchio itself and The Wizard of Oz. It's very unique, and I wasn't really sure how things would end up in the end. Speaking of the end, <laughs> many people wish the film would have stopped before it did, bringing us a schmaltzy finale, but I actually didn't mind it too much. AI is long and takes a bit to get going, but once the world you're venturing into for the next 2 hours and 25 minutes is laid out, things get a bit more exciting. Haley Joel Osment stars as David, the robotic child who wants to become real. Francis O'Connor as Monica, David's mother who doesn't care for him at first, but ends up taking a liking to him. Jude Law as Gigolo Joe, just the Gigolo. <laughs> Another robot who was set up for murder and is on the run, who ends up becoming uh, David's travel companion. Sam Robards as Henry, David's father who thinks bringing him home was a mistake, and William Hurt as Professor Hobby, David's creator. There's also a cool robotic teddy bear, which reminds me of a futuristic Teddy Ruxpin who goes along for the ride. AI Artificial Intelligence asks a lot of its viewers, but it's a thought-provoking emotional journey worth trying. I'm going to give it the rating of... Do it! All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review before you can blink your eyes. Just kidding. Not that soon. But anyway, um, until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. You can like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A-List. Follow me on the Twitter and, of course, the Instagram at West A-List. Until next time, Troop out.